The big screen adaptations of video games. Probably one of the most dangerous things to create and toy with in the modern film industry. When it comes to the topic of video games, the care for such topic is obviously going to be cared about a lot more as the years have gone by. Video games have grown a lot since their creation, and with that, so has its audience. A lot of people have cherished old memories, or still current ones being created by their devotion to video games every single day. And for the people that have that devotion, for the people that don't just do it as a little one to two hour session a day, for the people that, you know, healthy or not, really sit down at their chair and play these games for a good, good chunk of time and get invested in the stories and the gameplay and just everything that revolves around it. When they hear that their favourite video game is either having a movie or show made about it, all of the fans of said franchise are going to have big expectations, that of which sometimes are not all met. There's been a lot of video game to show series that I've watched that I thought were great. The Last of Us, Fallout, Arcane, Border La- <clears throat> I really, I really don't know what they thought they were doing with that one. I, <laughs> I don't know. But as you all probably know, as of recent, earlier this month on September 4th, the the biggin came out, you know, the big one. My absolute top one undisputed forever in my heart favourite game of all time, Minecraft, is getting its own movie. And the trailer was released. I watched the trailer as soon as it aired, or teaser I guess you could say. I thought it was decent. I put my phone down, I went to bed, I woke up the next day to possibly one of the most backwards feedback I've ever seen from the internet, and I genuinely did not expect it. The dislike count now being at 1.7 million. The comments filled with people not just simply hating on it, but genuinely saying, this has to be a joke, right? And even some of my favourite content creators reacting to the video themselves and saying, this is not what I expected out of this. A lot of people didn't like it. In fact, the majority didn't like it. But I liked it. So today, with certain theories that I have about the teasers, certain comments that I either might debunk or persuade you that have been made by people that are hating on the teaser, I'm going to be telling you why the Minecraft movie won't be so bad. Genuinely. And for the first part of this video, I'm going to go to another video game to movie franchise, Five Nights at Freddy's to act as the sort of catalyst for my first point in this video, by explaining where the Minecraft movie will succeed, where FNAF's doesn't. Now you may be thinking, but everyone liked the FNAF movie. Yeah, there was a lot of controversy around it towards the beginning, but when it was released, everyone was actually kind of happy with the direction that it went. And the key word in that sentence was where it failed. Not whether one will be better than the other, I'm sure that's either up to opinion or if I'm proved wrong, but where. And when I mean where, I mean two words, story and rating. So let's talk about story. Fun fact, I've never actually seen the FNAF movie. Now, no, I'm not one of those people that just completely hates on one thing without trying it, trust me, it's my least favourite breed of human being. But the core reason as to why I can fondly say that I dislike the FNAF movie even without watching it is because I know that the story in the movie is not the same story as in the games. For a lot of people this does matter, for a lot of people this doesn't matter. This is irrelevant. It's my personal opinion as to why I didn't watch it, but it's a different point that I'm trying to make here. One of the big reasons why a lot of people are mad at the Minecraft movie teaser right now is because of the supposed story that they've been given. They expected Steve against the actual story of Minecraft, him fighting piglins and killing the Ender Dragon, or just a basic Minecraft story. Something similar to Minecraft Story Mode that came out, god, I don't even know when. I was a kid when I played that. Everyone is annoyed at the classic Jumanji adaptation of oh, it's a video game, but we're in real life going into this video game and having an adventure or whatever. But I feel as if there is no problem with this. Five Nights at Freddy's was a game that has been around since 2016, I believe, that had a decently solid story that was set up for years by Scott Cawthon that was slowly pieced together by its fan base. And eventually, when it got to the point where the movie was released, they completely strayed off of this story that everyone was so happy to finally see shown on the big screen. But with Minecraft, it's never had a story. 
Everyone's mad at the movie teaser not following a storyline that was never even a thing that existed in the first place. It's a sandbox survival game. Yeah, in the last couple of updates they've added, like, quote-unquote lore, which is just terrible mobs, terrible dungeon trials. Trust me, I don't play Minecraft that much anymore. But it's never had a story. It was a kid's game in an open world where you could place blocks. So by them following something that isn't the quote-unquote same story doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have one. The whole point of Minecraft is using your imagination. It was the building block for how that game got so popular in the first place. Another reason as to why I feel that the FNAF movie was such a big letdown is because they attuned it to kids when they shouldn't have. The Five Nights at Freddy's lore is gruesome, at least the one you see in the games. It's absolutely terrifying. Custom-made audios of the Springlock incident with William Afton and all of the artwork and drawings and game files that you see it is genuinely disturbing. Not a game for kids, even though I'm sure we all played it when we were kids. The story is very much not suited for us. But when they made the movie, they attuned it to kids, and all of the animatronics and the main characters coming together, we are FNAF fighting the big bad guy at the end, it's just not what you would see in the video games. And the reason that they did this is because of the rating was so low. Accurate to the lore, it would have been an 18 if it was a movie. But Minecraft has and has always had a Peggy rating of 7. It's for kids. So they didn't stray off of a path that was already set when making the story or the rating or anything. It was always completely open for interpretation. And for them to do anything different other than make it a movie for kids with a story for kids and a game that was for kids and could have anything happen it's completely justified, and I'm telling you that it works. I don't like the video game in real life thing, come on man, we all liked the new Jumanji. But for a couple of the last points that a lot of people have been criticising the teaser for, I'll stray away from the FNAF movie for now, to start talking about these. And another big one was the animation style. And my one sentence that I can say to you when people complain about the animation style, what did you want them to do? Oh, it looks like those Minecraft in real life videos. It's tacky, it's terrible. I've seen some people even compare it to the original design of Sonic before the community eventually bullied the producers into changing it. I believe that the only other option, and the only option that people have been showing to us, would to simply have the movie be a Minecraft animation, which A, we've already had done. Minecraft story mode was if you look back at it now, the game wasn't made amazingly well, but we've already had that. And they do animations when it comes to other in-game trailers anyway. Someone made an in-game trailer version of the teaser, and everyone in the comments was saying like, Oh, I would actually preferably watch this over the trailer that we were given in the first place. And it's just kind of like, no you wouldn't. Let's be perfectly honest, no you wouldn't. If they were going to give the cast to real life people, they weren't going to either make them blocky or just have them be voice actors. If they were going to end up being in the movie as themselves, the animation has to match it in a sort of sense, and it's never that bad. The animation is a perfect balance, I believe, between real life and in Minecraft, and although I know that's just what I said a lot of people are making fun of, at the end of the day, come on. It looks like the Minecraft in real life videos, you thought those were so cool when you were six. Let's be honest, we were all sat with the iPad, watching them, stupid ass, non-copyright music in the background. Kid you loved it. And if Kid you loved it, then the audience that it will have, which, the movie, probably being a seven, that means that its audience will love it because it's for kids. That's the big part about a lot of this. I feel like a lot of people are treating it very harshly because they're all grown up now. I've been playing Minecraft for 12 years. My dad got it on PlayStation Plus for the PS3 when I was about five. I played it for the first time then and have consistently played it up until now I'm 17. And a lot of people that are either my age or older are looking at this teaser, criticizing it, saying that it's not what they want, but think about it. All those years ago when you first booted up Minecraft when you were a little kid, would they have loved it? And considering that that is the audience, kids, would have kid you loved it? Be honest. Would kid you have loved it? And for the last point to wrap up this 
not very professional, but in fact, I felt, as I've been recording this, it got a lot more personal. It feels like for the first time I'm actually talking to my audience from a me standpoint and not a prepare my script and talk about internet drama perspective. The last point, which a lot of people I see bringing up, is Steve. Jack Black as Steve. The main phrase that's being completely thrown around at the moment is they've quite literally taken an old fat Jack Black, shoved him in a blue t-shirt and called him Steve. In this last part of the video, I don't have reassurance, I don't have convincing and I don't have opinions. I'm just saying this as a complete theory. I don't feel like you'll be disappointed with this version of Steve. Now listen, you can come back to this video when the movie is finally released and tell me I'm wrong. I probably will be. In fact, I'll put a comment pinned if I end up being wrong, sorry. But hey, this is just my theory. This isn't the Steve that we know inside of the games. It's very obvious that they've not even tried to make him younger. He is obviously just Jack Black, an older guy. And he's obviously not built like the Steve in-game that could buy lore carry hundreds of pounds of gold or whatever. I truly believe that when it comes to the storyline of this movie, the Steve that we're seeing here is an old, almost retired, I've done everything already, egotistical version of Steve. And as the movie progresses with him meeting these new people, this cocky, over-exaggerated, retired version of him will eventually relive his past, where he was the thriving, well-built, good Steve that we play as in Minecraft, to be able to help them get out. I mean, that's a classic type of character that's been seen almost everywhere. The character that was the big hero that's done everything, so now he just lays back, gets old, gets fat, and then randomly these young'uns come along. He thinks he knows everything, but in fact he's taught something more with the power of whatever. Relives his past, learns some new things. It's either that, or they genuinely did just chuck Jack Black in a blue t-shirt and called him Steve. But even if they did something like that, the moral that I hope that you should get from this video, which as I said before, felt a lot more personal to make, I think this will be one of my favourites. If you think truly that you would have enjoyed this movie if kid you was looking at it in the cinema, and not older you that's a bit more picky with these certain things, you know, Minecraft, the imagination game with no story and a kid rating. If you think that that little kid you would have enjoyed it, then what the hell's the problem? I liked the teaser. I love Minecraft. Therefore, I think I'll love almost everything that comes from Minecraft, <laughs> except Minecraft Legend. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching this video. I don't expect this one to do too great, but I think from my heart, this will feel like one of my personal favorites. But that's why I feel that the Minecraft movie won't be so bad. I hope you all enjoy it when it eventually comes out. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.